Okay? So, uh, that heat equation, that simple equation at the bottom, is one of the few partial difference equations uh, for certain boundary conditions. It's one of the few partial difference equations that we can actually solve analytically. And there's the solution in 1D for a problem like this. So a core flood problem where we're going to uh, you know, hold, hold the pressure fixed on one end and hold it at zero on the other end and let the pressure diffuse. Okay? This is how the pressure will diffuse with time. So you can see there is a time dependence and a spatial dependence. So this is how the pressure will, th with this equation, you can compute the pressure at any location in the rod or in the core, right, at any given time. Okay? And as you, if, if, as you let this go to infinity, then you, I mean, this is, your solution becomes more accurate as this goes to infinity, right? And if you evaluate this at a long enough time, then you can see what will happen. So as an exercise, um, let me see. I don't want to give it away, so I'm going to turn that off for a second. Um, So as an exercise, for that problem, if I have that, this is x, okay? So x goes from 0 to the length of the core, and this is pressure, okay? This is pressure. And so initially, at 0, at the, at the 0 end, I'm going to hold the pressure at some value. I think in that problem it was 1,000, but it doesn't really matter the value. So I'm going to hold the pressure at 1,000, okay? What do you suppose this curve will look like? I mean, it'll actually be a family of curves, right? There'll be a curve in space at every instant in time, okay? So let's imagine like at, you know, one microsecond. If this is 1,000 PSI, what will this curve look like at one microsecond? So I saw you draw it in the air, so maybe something like that. All right, so what about maybe at one second? Oh, maybe something like that. And then at 10 seconds? All right. What about at 100 years? So, so you have a family of curves at each instance of time approaching the linear curve. Okay. Um, it's a little bit hard to let's see. How would you? It's a little bit hard to think of if I. Injected fluid at one side at a constant pressure. Okay, that's a little bit weird. You don't really do that. But if I, you know, adjusted the just right, or had it, or held this at a constant pressure, and I held the other side at a constant, um, not pressure, but rather flow rate. So, like, if I sort of had a, you can imagine I had a nozzle on the end that I could adjust such that I held it at a, at a. No, that's not a good good example. All right, it's the heat equation. Let's think of it like it's temperature. All right, so on this side, I have a fire, okay, and on this side I have insulation. So if if this side is insulated, that means no heat's going to flow out. It's the same equation, but that means 
it's a little easier to think of. So now on this side, no, no heat's going to flow out. Then what would my sort of, can, what would the curve look like at that point? So if this is, if I, if I fix the temperature over here, T equals 100 degrees, but on the other end, I had no heat flux. So it would be like that for infinity, but as time increases, remember, um, no heat flux means the slope of this curve is zero uh, at the boundary. So this is the boundary. So insulated, there's no heat flux. It means the slope is zero. So as I approach this, it always I always have to approach it with zero slope. So so the intermediate curves might look something like this. So I would sort of warn you to, especially come test time, to understand this conceptually. Right? We're not going to ask you to solve the PDE analytically, but you should definitely understand uh, this conceptually in, in one dimension. So that's what I was trying to hide from you. That's the actual solution. So that's those are these are not conceptual curves. These are for those for you know the pressure is a thousand on this side and zero on that side. These are families of curves for increasing time. Just plugging numbers into the analytic solution. Okay, so you know that that's the heat equation or uh, the Fizeau equation with all those assumptions. Then we get. I mean, this is not exactly a. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool that we that somebody can do that mathematically, but it's still even even though it's sort of the simplest PDE you can come up with. The heat equation is really the simplest PDE there is, and that's the solution to it. It's not exactly simple solution. And so as we t start removing some of those assumptions, 